You're watching Text Nation TV, and in this episode, we'll be unboxing my brand new MSI gaming laptop. All right, guys, for a very long, long time, I've had uh, this laptop that you see behind me. It's an HP DV1642US something or other. Uh, that I've had uh, for a very long time that I got off of uh, Amazon, I believe, because I had a deal where if I bought this laptop, I got a free Xbox 360. Uh, there was a promotion for students or something along the lines. This is uh, back when I was uh, going to, uh, uh, we'll call it an unnamed college, uh, getting my degree, but we got a, a free Xbox 360 when I made this purchase. So um, this is a laptop that's been my workhorse for quite a long time. Uh, it came with like uh, eight, six or eight gigs of RAM, uh, dual or quad core processor, uh, uh, discrete graphics, something like that, separate on board, but uh, nothing separate. Uh, just recently actually upgraded it to a hybrid drive, one terabyte where uh, a little bit of it is SSD and uh, most of it is gonna be your regular standard HDD uh, hard drive, or uh, hard disk drive, sorry. And uh, it's, it's been a great workhorse. It's uh, been fine through uh, Windows 7. Uh, it actually came, uh, I think, with Vista or maybe, and then I upgraded to 7 because I had uh, the Windows 7 party, if you were around for no title, no name. Uh, but this PC has lasted me very long. It still works actually great. I just may just be selling it. But I just recently upgraded, like I said, to the new hard drive and 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, so it's still actually very good and it's running Windows 10 now uh, skipped Windows 8 altogether just because that's a horrible absolute mess uh, and then in between times uh, when I was going out and about I wanted to have something that I could still work with uh, but something light and easy to go with uh, so I got this Samsung Series 5 laptop which recently actually just got uh, the top replaced uh, because the hinges were broken on them uh, but it's uh, one of those one of the first uh, like if you remember the Samsung series 9 I believe uh, was the first that Samsung started creating were these ultra books uh, that they created uh, This also is still a great laptop. I don't even remember the specs on it uh, But it is the model Nancy Parker 540 u3 Charlie uh, But uh, still also good. I could probably upgrade this one just because I can get into the memory and the hard drive there Same thing there and I do have a 256 gig uh, that I have to go, but I felt that it was time to upgrade uh, with 2016 coming around the corner and CES coming around the corner. Stick around for that for 2016. Uh, I kind of wanted to upgrade things because with this laptop, I can't really do um, uh, multiple monitors beyond just the two here because the HDMI cord kind of gets in the way of the regular VGA cable, uh, stuff like that. Uh, I can kind of do dual monitors with uh, USB 3. Uh, and I have some uh, changeover adapter cards for that, but just kind of want to upgrade. It's not a bad machine. Probably end up selling on Craigslist or eBay, so uh, if you want to ask about that, feel free. Uh, but I did get today uh, this brand new MSI, and I'm going to read this off here to you, the GE72, or yeah, GE72 2QF. Uh, and if we look at the website of the place that I got it today, uh, it's a 17.3 inch. This old, older laptop here, HP, still good. 15.6, uh, so it'll be a little bit larger. Also, this machine was more of a uh, workhorse for uh, desktop applications, uh, not so much gaming. It can do gaming. It, it does Half-Life 2 just fine. Uh, but this is an in, uh, this new one is an Intel uh, fifth generation, not the newest sixth generation, uh, but an Intel Core i7 5700 HQ. Uh, and this thing is a beast because it's built specifically for gaming. It has the uh, NVIDIA G, or see if I can remember this correctly, uh, the NVIDIA GTX 970M uh, mobile GPU processor, uh, not to be confused with the 970, which is the actual desktop uh, uh, video card. So uh, let's go ahead and break into it and kind of see what we've got here going on. All right, guys, so this is my brand new MSI laptop, like I told you. Uh, I'm trying to get everything in frame here, so if my face is off a little bit, I do apologize, but we're kind of here uh, more for the laptop, and I'm recording both with the camera audio, my external mic, and then also uh, hopefully a good lapel mic that I'm using right now. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, again, this is a Core i7 
processor. This is a uh, fifth gen, not the brand spanking new sixth generation uh, that just came out. Uh, MSI is actually very well known for high-end gaming laptops uh, and especially for the price uh, that you pay for. Uh, and this is actually kind of nice. Uh, MSI is also known for their packaging. Uh, so you'll notice right out of the box, they have a cardboard cover to make sure they cover up their awesomeness that is uh, their casing. Uh, so you'll hear, see here the standard uh, MSI Dragon uh, top player choice. Uh, and you'll see here uh, down at the bottom, Steel Series Engine, uh, XSplit Gamecaster because you can Gamecast to Twitch, YouTube, other services. Uh, a matrix display because it has the mini display port. Uh, you've got Super Raid, you've got cool, Cooler Booster because you've got two different fans going, uh, powered by the Steel Series, uh, reaching back to the engine over there. Uh, audio Boost uh, through Dyna Audio with HDMI. Uh, basically, a very high end uh, gaming laptop that we're looking at here. Again, 17.3 inch anti glare widescreen uh, 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 display that you're looking at. Sorry about that. Uh, Intel Core i7 5700HQ, uh, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 970 with 3 gigabytes of GDDR5 RAM uh, with a 1 terabyte 7200 RPM, uh, which I will probably most likely be swapping out for an SSD, a much, much smaller SSD, uh, only because uh, a 1 terabyte uh, SSD is still running about $300 to $350, uh, depending on where you get it from. Uh, so let's take a look, see here real quick. And we'll cut into this. Open this up here. Move that out. Move that out. And now I'm going to move a little bit closer with the camera so you can see. All right. So uh, again, uh, just so you can see it up close and personal. There it is. Uh, player top choice. Again, all the logos there. Uh, the gaming series laptop that you see here. I'm gonna go ahead and open this sucker up here. Nice packaging, uh, very posh as it were. Uh, let's see what we got here. Looks like just a spacer uh, over here. Uh, standard stuff, plug in to get into uh, power. Uh, then your power brick and your adapter. Uh, the power brick's kind of large for uh, what I've seen on my laptop, but again, this is a gaming laptop, so uh, there's a whole big difference there. You've drawn a little bit more power uh, to get into it. And also, you don't ever really want to, you kind of want to stay away from battery power uh, because once you go to battery power to, consume, to conserve power, it actually goes into a lower, smaller, uh, discrete graphics basically speed whenever you go battery only uh, so you basically kind of want to stay near a wall at all times uh, looks like here on the bottom uh, take a look if I can get past the plastic here uh, all your standard stuff that comes in with it uh, you've got all your manuals a uh, key ring uh, with the gaming series logo there uh, your sticker for everything all the other standard stuff that you get uh, and then the actual laptop itself there. Again, the MSI uh, Gaming Series uh, logo. This is great for them because, I mean, they're, they're wonderful on their packaging. Uh, so let's put that there. And let's put the box off to the side here. And this is the laptop itself. Again, this is a 17.3-inch uh, screen, I believe. Uh, and you'll see here, let me turn this around, uh, the gaming logo there. Uh, with this uh, brushed metal back um, and then around the back you'll see the dual fans for getting all the heat out uh, on the side you will see the gigabit uh, network adapter uh, along with the uh, standard key lock there uh, three USB 3.0 ports for you to be able to uh, hook up your accessories uh, hard drives whatever it is for me it'll be video editing so it'll be a bunch of hard drives uh, HDMI for one monitor and display port for doing uh, dual monitors actually uh, so you can do both of these at once uh, this should be able to power up a 4k display uh, of course in your microphone and then your headphone jack there and then on the other side uh, we should have uh, your standard uh, SD micro SD uh, X, XDSC all that stuff uh, that goes there uh, standard USB 2 uh, for older uh, items or maybe items that don't really care about speed like a, a Bluetooth keyboard or something like that uh, and your standard 8x DVD multi-drive there uh, and your power adapter and then along the front 
Uh, you'll have LEDs uh, for your uh, Wi-Fi connections, your battery power, and then the hard drive uh, up and going. And then your speakers here in the front uh, that you'll see there. Uh, there is the bottom. Uh, there is the GT uh, NVIDIA GeForce GTX. Uh, and then uh, just to let you know, and then you can kind of get in here. Uh, but if you do break this open, you are breaking the warranty basically. So uh, you may not want to get into it too much. Uh, but let's open this thing up. And you'll see there, kind of comes with a microfiber cloth uh, to cover up the keys. So if you want to stay away from dust, and it's actually kind of smooth coming off of there. That's actually very nice, a very nice touch. Uh, but uh, looking at the keyboard there, uh, you'll see uh, we've got, this is a multi-lit up backlit LED or uh, backlight, backlit keyboard, sorry, that comes in multiple colors. And I've already got something on it. I don't know if that came down off of the ceiling or what. No, well, I'll have to get that out later. Uh, but again, Dyna Audio powered by SteelSeries, 17.3-inch uh, screen. You got a 720HD uh, webcam there. Uh, your booster uh, for your fans there at the top. Uh, your power, and uh, you'll see there everything. Again, like I said, Ultra 4K HD output, your 970M engine, uh, and then everything else that you see there by... Uh, MSI. So I'll break into this and uh, kind of give you guys a full review uh, later on down the road. Again, this is, and let's see if I can do this so you can kind of see size comparison. Uh, and you'll see there, uh, this is the laptop itself. Don't mind all the ugly wires. I'm going to try to do this slowly without getting you all sick. Uh, but that's the laptop there uh, next to my older HP DV16, whatever that is. Uh, and uh, again, it's just 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, coming out of this with three gigs of DDR5 um, uh, standalone GPU uh, RAM. So I'll be hooking this thing up over the next few days. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know anything. I'll try to uh, get this thing set up and good to go. And hopefully this will be my workhorse for the next little while. Uh, along with I might get back into PC gaming. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, thanks again for watching guys. Stay up to tune uh, with us online. We're in multiple locations. You're probably watching this already. It's YouTube.com slash Nation TV. If you're on Facebook, find us on Facebook. It's Facebook.com slash Nation TV. If you're on Google Plus, it's gplus.to slash Nation TV. Also, if you're on Twitter, you can follow us there. Retweet, do whatever you can for us. Like the uh, tweets that we put out. It's Twitter.com slash Nation TV. For all things Text Nation, it's txtnation.tv. We'll do some more videos on this a lot later as we do a review in-house. Thanks again for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next episode.